So let's see what are complementary events and their respective probabilities. Complementary events are the events which are quite opposite to each other. That is, getting of a hat when I toss a coin, then its complementary event is getting of a tail because the other side of not getting a hat is how we understand the complementary events. So here, I identify the complementary events through occurring and non-occurring or happening and non-happening. Happening and non-happening of an event E. So this is how we differentiate between happening plus non-happening is how we understand the complementary events. They are said to be complementary to each other. Say for example, I take probability of getting a head when a coin is tossed is 1 by 2. Then the probability of getting a tail when a coin is tossed is also 1 by 2. But I can say this is 1 minus probability of getting a head. We identify the complementary as 1 minus probability of getting a head, which is found to be half. That is, I get 1 minus half, which is 1 by 2, is how I get probability of getting a head and t. So here, these two are complementary events. Therefore, if A and B are complementary events, probability of A plus probability of B is 1. So this makes me conclude that implies probability of H plus probability of T is 1 in case of tossing of a coin. <coughs> For tossing of a coin. Therefore, for any two events, complementary events are defined as for two events A and B, I have P of A plus P of B is equal to 1. Then I say A and B are complementary events. Therefore, for complementary events, P of A plus P of B is always equal to 1. So when I say the two events are complementary, then this has to come in mind as the mathematical formula. So generally, the complementary events are denoted with general notation as in the following manner. Say for example, I say occurring of an event E is denoted with E, then I say non-occurring of an event I denote with E bar or E complement, then in this case E and E dash are complementary events, that is E and E bar are complementary events. Therefore, I have the formula P of E equals P of E plus P of E bar equals 1. That is, P of E bar is more taken as 1 minus P of E. To read in words, probability of occurring of an not occurring of an event is 1 minus probability of occurring of an event is how we understand this mathematical formula connected with the probability.